weekend. It was a really scary situation for the families that live here. Uh, hundreds of people had to be evacuated. Some people even had to be rescued. They left their apartments with nothing. And now today, many are forced to try to figure out what comes next, when they'll be able to go back in. I woke up at 3 o'clock and then I heard the alarm says, went up and do uh, 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 uh. And I kept, and I told mom, the fire alarm, the fire alarm. And she's like, go out there and go see what happens. And when I went back in the house and a neighbor said, you know, come outside, it's the fire, it's the fire. Dozens of sleeping families startled awake by smoke, sirens, and screams. Oh, I smelled the smoke, yeah. So then I knew it was real. And I, Got my coat and left. Around 100 people were evacuated, some even rescued from the building where the flames broke out. Officials believe it started in a storage locker on the second floor of the Independence Square apartments and spread from there. Multiple fire departments and police agencies were called to fight the flames and get people to safety. When I left, I didn't have any shoes on, I didn't have nothing. Firefighters let me in today so I could get my stuff. Yeah. And uh, Red Cross uh, gave us uh, breakfast and coffee and uh, placed on an Atlanta bus to, uh, you know, stay, stay warm. Today, as officials secured the building and investigated the cause of the fire, residents, they returned to get their belongings, even their pets. According to the American Red Cross, 10 units are uninhabitable at this point. They've been trying to help those families figure out what's next. And if there's going to be a further delay with tenants not being able to return, then we'll be talking with more families about what their needs are. Perfect. We're here to make this horrible experience as good and as easy for the family to start working towards recovery as we possibly can. Now, officials are still investigating what started the fire, but we are told that uh, those residents not in the 10 badly damaged units could be able to return to their apartments as early as tonight into this weekend. I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News.